Hey, hey welcome, welcome back, back to Meet, Meet the, the Masons. Masons. Glad you guys joined us again. Yes. So we are coming up to the end of our pregnancy updates. Although we've come <laughs> to the end of the road. Did you just fart? No, that was a joke. <laughs> anyway, so welcome back, you guys. Um, last week we did not have a video because um, I was tired. And we had a lot of Can I show late them the video? evenings. Which one? While you were asleep. When we were supposed to be Jared recording. got a really good video of me um, Hibernating. sleeping. Yes. <laughs> and snoring. We actually may make it its own video because it's like, even I was shocked. I was like, goodness gracious, I am a grizzly bear. <laughs> but yeah, so. I didn't say that. Yeah. That was funny. Anyway, so thank you guys for joining us again. Last week we didn't have a video. Um, and this week we are updating you guys on three weeks instead of two weeks. Mm -hmm. So we're updating you guys on weeks 36 through 38. Um, currently I am 39 weeks today. Mm -hmm. Wow, today's Saturday. Yeah. I went on maternity leave and I'm like, what's today again? <laughs> so it's, it's crazy how that's already happening. Okay, so. Let's update you. Starting week 36. Okay, that week honestly was very rough. It was very, very rough. Um, they told me to go to a hematologist. Well, actually, I know you guys, I think I told you guys a couple weeks ago that I went to a hematologist and they told me that, oh, you just need to do this. Your blood count is low, blah, blah, blah. Um, and so they told me to follow up at 36 weeks just to see where I was. And um, they saw that. It dropped and then they had a different hematologist come see me and he was very rude and didn't even look at my um, notes before he came in and everything and he just gave us like this really daunting um, thing of what would happen um, during birth and all these different things and it was like you're way too negative and <laughs> we don't receive that like we don't think that's gonna yeah. happen and he was very nervous because he was like well it could be pregnancy but I don't know and he literally kept saying I don't know so I'm like well why am I here um, I'm here to find out. He was asking me questions like, well, are you doing this? And I'm like, it's in my notes. I have been taking that. He was like, well, stop taking that. It's not working. Well, do you know that? <laughs> so that was a little frustrating. So then, um, I went back to my office and they, I've been seeing a midwife, but with our team of midwives, we also have three OBGYNs. So they told me to see, um, OBGYN within my practice. And he was basically like, oh yeah, just check this. And, um, that'll be able to tell us where you are and it's a common thing and you'll be fine so um I saw him and it was a much better experience because he had been dealing with pregnancy and women for like over 20 plus years mm -hmm. so um he didn't just specialize in blood he specialized in blood and in pregnancy so yeah, combo. yeah. so that was good news so um after we saw him weeks 37 um we got some news that it was kind of still negative but he gave us hope like it's not that serious and that I wouldn't really need medication and all those different things and we decided that we weren't going to take it anyway mm -hmm. and then weeks 38 this is just to fast forward through our doctor's appointments but in weeks 38 my accounts actually went up so we're very excited about yes. that and very thankful um so yeah that was the doctor stuff so kind of up and down, but we kept believing and praying that, you know, I'm healed and everything is fine. So, mm -hmm. yeah. How was that for you with hearing all the doctor's reports and stuff? I was like, they're lying. Yeah. <laughs> That's why I kept telling her, my like, babe, at this part of pregnancy, it doesn't happen for everybody. It doesn't happen with every situation, but there's always an attack opportunity. So one, it's like, okay, yes. is it a physical attack? Is it mental? Is it spiritual? Where's the attack coming from? Mm -hmm. But um, for this one, it's like, nah, that's not true. Like if you just randomly, oh, this is doom. No, this is not <laughs> doom. This is the end of a pregnancy. Yeah. And if you can say, hey, you know what? This is really bad or we recommend this. This is really good. You're emotionally swayed so quickly that you can buy into anything and literally buy anything. And I'm like, yeah. I'm not going to pad your pocket in the last couple of weeks. Yeah. No. It was crazy. My wife is healed. <laughs> this is this is not true. And I try to tell her, I'm like, look, I am not a doctor. Obviously, I'm not a doctor. I'm not a doctor. Mm -hmm. But this is biology 101, anatomy 101, chemistry 101. Let's put those three together. And this is what you need to take. This is what you need to do. And then the last doctor 
for some reason, he said word for word what I said. I never spoke to the guy. So he just wants to say that he, what, that you told me so? No, I'm not saying I told you so. I'm saying I, I was encouraging you not to believe the people that didn't know what they're doing. Yeah. Yeah. So, um, yeah, we had a conversation about it because we were like, we've had such an amazing, easy, breezy pregnancy so far. And it's like week 36 and just like crazy stuff they started to tell us. So we knew it was an attack. And that, um, well, initially I didn't. I was, I was crying in the doctor's office. I was just frustrated, mainly because I was just tired and I didn't want to hear any negative news. Um, but then once I got myself together, I was like, he has an attack. Everything's been great so far and we have, we are sticking to our confession of what we believe that we want for this pregnancy mm -hmm. and for our labor and delivery. So we're not going to let anything sway us. Now we, we are going to say that we do respect doctors and we do respect, um, medical professionals, but we know that sometimes it's just attacks, you know, and it is what it is. And like Jared said, what he said, kind of confront what the doctor said later and it eased my nerves that, okay. Just deficient in these vitamins. Take those vitamins. Do what you need to do. Eat right. Mm -hmm. You'll be fine. And so it has proven to work. So yeah. yeah. So we're good on that end. Your numbers went up. How many numbers? What was um, it? Your blood count was down to what? 95. And, and it went up to 109. Yeah. Yeah. So their, their issue. Orders. Their issue was that um, if my blood count fell below 100, then I would not be able to have an epidural and um, some other crazy stuff basically but typically if it gets down to 50s or 20s that's when it's ridiculously crazy but if it's less than 100 they may recommend steroids or something to get your blood count up um in order to make sure you don't overbleed or whatever but it ended up going up over 100 so mm -hmm. i'm excited and it is continuing to go up even more so besides that um week 36 is when i also found out that i had stretch marks <laughs> <laughs> So I think I was already upset and hearing all these different things. I'm like, great, I got stretch marks. So as you know, I faithfully, and Jared can attest to that, every morning I rub my belly with the um, bio rose oil. Hip yeah, rose hip oil and coconut bio oil, oil and coconut oil. And when I can't like do all three oils, I typically just do um, coconut oil all over when I don't have time to do all three. Um, and at this point, I think stretch marks are just hereditary. Like, I already had them, I just didn't have them on my stomach. So, um, it is what it is. I was pretty, I was pretty bummed about it, but yeah, they'll go away. So, I'm interested to see what my belly will look like afterwards, but, um, I'm still gonna be cute, y'all. So, no worries. <laughs> okay, week 37. Um, and that week, I think I started feeling a contraction for the first time, yeah. So, one day, um... No, it was when we had pizza. We ordered pizza and I started feeling nauseous in the car. Remember coming back home? Nauseous in the car. Yeah, I felt a little nauseous in the car, let me tell you. So I felt a little nauseous in the car and then I came in the um, living room and I was like feeling hot like I just needed to take my clothes off and get on my hands and knees and I was feeling like a contraction for the first time. Um, it wasn't unbearable, but it was just like an uneasy menstrual cramp and I was just... Hands and knees? Yeah, remember? In the yeah, I remember, room? but so let, let tell me it. tell it. <laughs> Kiara waited way too long to eat. Way too long to eat. This was like six thirty or seven o'clock, and the last time she ate was like one thirty two. That wasn't the reason. Oh. I was feeling nauseous. Oh. Anyway, so that happened and it was just kinda like Okay, I just felt like I needed to take my clothes off. And I almost did. I couldn't get it all off by the time I was on the floor. But that was that. That was a little dramatic. But anyway, so that was week 37. 30, week 37 was pretty good. And then week 38. Um, during that week is when we actually went to DeLand. Um, why did... Oh, okay. We went to DeLand to go to a particular store. And we also went to... Did I touch my nose? Yeah. Why did I do that? <laughs> We went to DeLand, which is like, what, 30 minutes from us? 20? Yeah. 20 some minutes from us. Um, we went to the farmer's market. So if you guys, I could probably put the link in there somewhere. But probably episode number two or three, we went to the farmer's market. Mm -hmm. And we used to go there in DeLand. We don't live in DeLand. Um, but I wanted to make sure, um, what's that friend name? Carmen. Carmen. I wanted to make sure she saw us 
while we were pregnant because she literally hadn't seen us probably in a year. Mm -hmm. So um, it was closed down, like the farmer's market was closed. Everyone was leaving, but Carmen was still there. Mm -hmm. So we got to see her and that was really, really nice. So yeah. hi Carmen, if you're looking. Um, so after that, we went to a store and I just noticed that I was, while we were in the store, it was like less than an hour we had been there and I had like three or four Braxton Hicks. So I'm like, okay, that's, I don't usually get them that often. So let me start timing them. So we started timing them and it was just like, I think they started coming like every seven or two, 11 minutes. Mm -hmm. um, so that was different because I'm like, whoa, but I think it's because I, I needed some water and then we were walking around a lot. It was hot and um, yeah, they just kept coming consistently. So I'm like, there's no way I'm in labor. Like, no way. We went and got us some soul food. We sat down and then, you know, they, they slowed down. <laughs> So, this sounds familiar. You don't typically feel well when you don't eat and drink water. But I'm not a doctor. You're not, and that's obvious, okay? The you know more... what, I might have to get my doctor just for you. Just for you. Just you can say, but I'm a doctor. But I'm a doctor. <laughs> <laughs> so yes, you can get more Braxton Hicks when you are dehydrated. So I think that's what was happening. Even though I was drinking like, one bottle a day? No, no way. I probably had two bottles that day so far. Um, but it wasn't enough with the amount of heat we had and the, all the walking around that we were doing. So mm -hmm. that was that. That was interesting. And then in week 38, um, I actually started feeling real contractions. So at least maybe like pre-labor contractions. But I think they were real because they were different from my normal Braxton Hicks. So normally when I have a Braxton Hicks, my stomach just tightens. Mm -hmm. And um, and then it releases and Jared like feels it and it gets like super hard. Um, but this time, it's like I had a Braxton Hicks, but then I was getting menstrual cramping at the same time. And it was very um, just uncomfortable. Like, ugh, I, like, I don't want to deal with this. <laughs> and it just made me just kind of like sit and I made sure I breathe through it and I only had maybe like three or four in weeks 38 so um that was that and I'm like okay I mean I can do it but it's just uncomfortable it's like okay I'm praying that this is like quick because who wants to deal with that all day long <laughs> so that was that um and now today weeks 39 week 39 um i felt three contractions in a row today and i just wanted to go sleep i was like if this is about to happen i'm about to go to sleep um and i'm gonna sleep through as much of it as i can and that's that and then jared joined me to take a nap <laughs> 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 i didn't think i was in labor or anything but i knew that if i'm having contractions i just rather not deal with it so let me just go to sleep <laughs> and it worked so you were tired <laughs> i was tired too she was tired um, and then we were in the midst of finishing decluttering our house and we didn't even say that we were going to start on our room today, but we we're pretty much almost done with the closet. So yeah. that was going to be my last thing. So I'm kind of glad that yeah. we're seeing that. And we got the other room that we got to finish. Yeah. But I, I wanted us to do our room last. Oh yeah. yeah. I thought you said the last thing like we're done. Oh no, no, but no. But that no. was the last thing on the list. Got yeah. Okay. So our closet was the last thing on the list, but it got done today. That thing looking good. Yeah. <laughs> I can find my stuff instead of her <laughs> stuff, huh? And we have a rather big closet. I don't know, if you go to our international packing trip um, video, you can see how big our closet is. Mm. Um, but sometimes it's just good to whatever you're flowing in at that moment, just continue to go with it. Because I had a plan to go to the guest room first, but I was like, we're doing good in this area. Yeah. Let's just keep going. So <laughs> that was good. So our closet is starting to look like a lot different. Yeah. So we're excited about that. Um, other than that, we have started packing our hospital bag. Actually, is your bag done? My bag is packed. I don't know what's in his bag, so. It's not your bag. <laughs> so we will actually have a separate um, what's in our hospital bags video. We will? Um, yep. I'm not sure what's in my bag. Well. You can show what's in your bag. Yeah, I'll show what's in my bag. <laughs> he just has clothes. Um, of course, he'll be carrying. You don't know what's in my bag. You don't know. You don't know what's in my bag. Of course, he'll also be carrying like the camera equipment because we you are gonna film. We are gonna film as what's much, babe. <laughs> so he's also gonna be carrying um, the camera equipment because we're gonna try to 
film as much of the labor um, as we can. We cannot film the actual delivery of her coming out of my vagina. But hopefully we can just record our reactions of her. Um, like my reaction of, I guess, them putting her on my chest or whatever. So that is exciting. We're literally on a countdown now because mm -hmm. I'm 39 weeks today. Um, and we're hoping she comes next week. Yep. She's coming on Friday. Yep. On Friday. September that 1st. is our desire. So um, I know some people, I was actually watching one YouTuber, I can't think of her name, but she did a, a, like a daily vlog of like countdown to the due date. And I mm -hmm. thought that was so cool. I don't know if we're going to do that, um, but is I... It just like a quick conversation? And she just did a vlog, like whatever she was doing that day to prepare each day. And she put them all together or was it mm -mm. posted? Every day posted? she posted. Okay. She posted it, yeah. So the end of the day she posted whatever it was. Mm -hmm. So I thought that was really cool. We may or may not do that because um, as I mentioned earlier, I started my maternity leave on Friday. So Jared and I will both be home, which is exciting. Um, we do have a few more things to do, like get her um, pediatrician. We have to do that. Mm -hmm. And I have to order the breast pump, which I tried to do on Friday, but apparently the breast pump department closes before the whole company closes, which I think is ridiculous. And you can't order online. You have to wait for them to be in the office. So They have your breast injuries to that heart. <laughs> it doesn't seem like it. So that is that. Um, I'm hoping that I won't really need that and she'll just kind of you know, feed from the breast until I get the pump in, but it won't take long. Um, if not, I will get a manual pump. I know, right? I really did that. <laughs> if not, I want to get a manual pump. Stop. I want to get a manual pump in the meantime to help, which I heard manual pumps are like really good. So, yeah, I decided to go. I actually asked people on Facebook which brand to go with. I was choosing between Amita and yeah, Amita and Medela. Um, and everyone pretty much said Modella because... Pretty much said. Did I say pretty much? Yeah. No, pretty I didn't. Much. Yes, you did. I did. Oh. I asked some people on Facebook if they prefer Amida over Modella, but most people, like 99% said Modella, which is because most people only try Modella. So I figured you know, they only tried that, but they liked it. And I was just kind of too tired to try to research. I heard that the Amita was easier to clean and it doesn't have as much um, as much of an opportunity to get mold or anything in the cords um, rather than Medela. But um, yeah, I just went with Medela. Whatever. As long as it pumps my boobs and if I need to use it manually, I will. So that's the route that I took. Um, what else do we need to do before she comes? Just finish decluttering. Yeah, we, you ready to get to it? We only have a couple rooms. Yeah, I'm done for the day. We did a, a lot, even though it may not seem like it. We did a lot in our room, in our closet. It was crazy. But we just have the guest room left. Um, mm -hmm. And, and the, like the hall. Yeah, the hall. Yeah. Putting her bottles in the kitchen. Um, probably sterilizing those. And... Um, Stuff. Yeah, maybe washing a few of her clothes and blankets. I'm not really sure about washing all her stuff. I don't know. We don't know how big she is, but we started packing a hospital bag and y'all... She tried to pack everything. I'm like, babe, <sighs> leave it in the baby room. But we need all these things. She brought like eight pairs of clothes. Did you not have eight, eight pairs of clothes? I didn't have Was eight. Was it seven? I didn't even have seven. We had six onesies. Yeah, I didn't take them off the hanger yet, so it looked like six, but I was only going to bring less than that. <laughs> so we narrowed it down to four things, I believe. Um, I know that we're not going to need everything. The hospital is going to provide a lot of stuff, but I just mm -hmm. wanted to look cute. And we also don't know how big she is. And I guess we'll talk about all this in the hospital bag, but the hospital bag was more, um, you just had to do more than I thought. And, uh, yeah, so it took a little bit longer, but it'll be packed by tomorrow, I hope. <laughs> I thought it was done already. Um, no, well, just the bag. Because when we were doing it earlier today, I thought we Well, her diaper it. bag is done, yeah. Oh, that's what I was talking about. You're talking about your stuff? Yeah, right? my hospital bag. Oh, yeah. because I was talking about her bag. You're talking about your bag. Yeah. Okay, so her bag is done, so we did that. Yeah. But as far as your stuff, because you got... 
you got. Yeah, I want to bring stuff. yeah some a couple of random things that I didn't see other people bring. Other than that, I'm really trying to pack light, which I feel like I have. <laughs> so no, that is that. Bring a bounce house to the hospital. No, is that you? They're gonna have bounce balls for me. Um, other than that, we will keep you updated. I believe we're gonna do a pre-recorded video that says um, I'm in labor, so you guys will know when we're in labor. Possibly. Possibly. Well, guys, that wraps up weeks 36 and 30. No, 36 through 38. <laughs> um, I hope you guys got some good information, mm -hmm. and we will see you guys next week. Yes. Yep. Hasta luego. Bye. Hi everyone. Okay, so I have officially gained about 21 pounds. I'm at 152 pounds now, and my waist is measuring at. 40 um which is a nine inch um increase <laughs> from the 31 inches that i started with as you can see i have stretch marks yeah whatever um they are saying the baby is measuring about seven to eight pounds but you know they're always wrong so they don't really know other than that um i'm feeling good just a little tired and i'm having contractions but they are not completely consistent yet but anyway, we are excited to see her, and we will see you guys very soon. Bye!